Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson of how to speak Bosnian. Today we will be learning ordinal numbers in Bosnian. Okay, so the ordinal numbers in Bosnian are Prvi Prvi Prva Prvo Drugi Druga Drugo Treći Treća Treće, četvrti, četvrta, četvrto, peti, peta, peto, šesti, šesta, šesto, sedmi, sedma, sedmo, osmi, osma, osmo, deveti, deveta, deveto, and the tenth is deseta, deseti, deseta, deset o. Uh, when you're talking, talking, when you're talking about the first, second, third, whatever uh, it is, basically it always refers to the the following down. So what what is that you're talking about? For example, uh, if you're talking about if your noun is basically uh, a masculine uh, or a masculine noun, you would then say Pervi, pervi. If it's um, a feminine noun, it's always going to be perva, perva. And if it's a neuter, it will be pervo, pervo. Example. Osvojio je pervo mjesto. Why do we use pervo? Well, because your mjesto is a neuter, so then we, we are going to use pervo instead of instead of pervi or perva. Okay, so he won the first place. On je bio prvi. On je bio prvi. He was the first. Here we have prvi, uh, which then signifies that we're talking about uh, uh, it, something that is masculine. In this case, on. On is masculine, so we're using prvi. The second, the third example we have is Ona je prva koja je trčala maraton. Ona je prva koja je trčala maraton. She was the first to run the marathon. Uh, we use prva zato što or because uh, we're talking about her or she uh, because we have here Ona. Ona signifies that we're talking. That's our subject, so we're talking about her. Um, so that's why we're using prva instead of prvi or prvo, okay? Second, drugi, druga, drugo. The same goes here. Uh, drugi is when we're talking about masculine noun. Druga is when we're talking about the feminine. And the third, uh, drugo, is when we're talking about neuter. So, example. Osvojila je drugo mjesto. Again. Osvojila je drugo mjesto. She won the second place. So drugo mjesto, again, your mjesto is neuter, and so we're using drugo. We add o. Um, when we, uh, in the second example here, uh, on je bio drugi u trci. On je bio drugi u trci. He was the second in the race. Uh, we're using drugi because uh, we're talking about him, uh, he's our subject, um, basically on je bio, um, we're talking about masculine, uh, him, so we're using drugi. And the last example we have is ona je bila druga žena. Ona je bila druga žena. She was a second woman. Um, here our subject is Ona. Again, we have Jena following. Both of them are feminine. Therefore, we're using Druga. Druga. Uh, treći. Treća. Treće. Ovo je naš treći pas. Again, ovo je naš treći pas. This is our third dog. Uh, pas is our uh, subject in this sentence. Uh, the subject is masculine. Therefore, we're using treći. Ovo je treća šansa. Ovo je treća šansa. This is the third chance. We're talking about chance or the šansa. Šansa is, uh, 
is feminine, therefore we're using trecha. The last example we have is ovo je naše treće dijete. Ovo je naše treće dijete. This is our third child. In this case, we don't know if this child is masculine or feminine, therefore we're using neuter. So we're using treće. Uh, here we have fourth or četvrti, četvrti, četvrta i četvrto, the same concept. Ovo je četvrta pobjeda. Ovo je četvrta pobjeda. This is the fourth victory. Pobjeda is our subject and pobjeda is feminine, therefore we are using četvrta. Second example. Njegov četvrti stan je poplavio. Again, njegov četvrti stan je poplavio. His fourth apartment has flooded. His fourth apartment has flooded. Uh, četvrti stan, uh, stan is your uh, apartment, is your masculine noun, therefore we have četvrti. And the last example here is četvrto. Četvrto djete je veoma inteligentno. Again, Četvrto dijete je veoma inteligentno. The fourth child is very intelligent. Dijete, again, is our subject. We don't know if it's masculine or feminine. Um, therefore, we're using neuter. Uh, and that's why we have četvrto with O in the end. Peti, peta, peto. Uh, peti, again, peta, peto. Ovo je naša peta lekcija. Again, Ovo je naša peta lekcija. Uh, lekcija, in this case, is your uh, subject and it's also your noun. Uh, so, therefore, lekcija ends on a. Remember, that means that uh, it is feminine. Uh, so, basically, because of that, you are using peta. Ovo je naša peta lekcija. This is our fifth lesson. Second example. To je njegov peti pokušaj. To je njegov peti Pokušaj. That is his fifth try. Uh, pokušaj is try and therefore um, it does not end on a. It is masculine. That's our subject as well. Therefore, we will uh, use peti. peti. The very last one is išli smo na, išli smo na peto mjesto. Išli smo na peto mjesto. Here we're talking about something that... Uh, we as a group, or maybe myself and somebody else, uh, we went to some to the fifth place, um, and so therefore we're using because of the place obviously is our uh, unknown whether is that masculine or feminine. We're using neuter, and therefore we're using peto miesto. Šesta, šesto. Ide u šesti razred. Again, ide u šesti razred. It goes to the sixth, uh, sixth grade. Uh, šesti uh, is used here because razred, again, is your masculine. Therefore, we're using šesti. Uh, ovo je šesta ulica. The second example. Ovo je šesta ulica. This is the sixth uh, street. Ovo je šesta ulica. Ulica ends on a. We know that means that it is feminine. Therefore, we, we are using šesta ulica. Uh, the last example, um, to je šesto iznenađenje ove godine. To je šesto iznenađenje ove godine. Iznenađenje uh, is surprise and we don't know whether iznenađenje is a masculine or feminine. We're using neuter, therefore we're using šesto in this case. Uh, seventh or said me, said me. Sedma, sedma, sedmo, sedmo. Ovo je sedmi predsjednik. Again, ovo je sedmi predsjednik. This is the seventh president. Predsjednik, again, is masculine, therefore we're using se sedmi. O, to je sedma sedmica. To je sedma sedmica. That is the seventh week. Sedmica ends on a. We know that means that our sedmica is feminine, therefore we're using sedma. The very last one is ovo je sedmo putovanje u Mexico. Again, ovo je sedmo putovanje u Mexico. 
This is the seventh trip to Mexico. Putovanie is unknown gender, so therefore it is neuter, and we're using sedmo instead for this case because of that, because it is neuter. Osmi, osma, osmo. Again, osmi, osma, osmo. Idemo na osmi sprat. Again, idemo na osmi sprat. We are going to the eighth floor. Uh, sprat masculine, therefore we, we are using osmi. The second example, ovo je osma pokvarena stolica po redu. Again, ovo je osma pokvarena stolica po redu. This is uh, the eighth broken chair. Ovo je osmo pitanje danas. Ovo je osmo pitanje danas. This is the eighth question today. Again, we have Osma, uh, because we're talking about Stolica. Stolica is a feminine, therefore we're using Osma. Uh, Pitanje is, in the last example, is neuter, therefore it is Osmo. Ninth, Deveti. Deveti, Deveta, Deveto. The same concept. Već Deveti put putujem u Bosnu. Again, Već Deveti put putujem u Bosnu. This is the ninth time I'm traveling to Bosnia. Uh, deviti put. Uh, we are using deviti because put is masculine. Therefore, uh, we're using the um, masculine option for this. Uh, second one is to je devita zima bez snijega. Again, to je devita zima bez snijega. That is the ninth winter without snow. Uh, zima is feminine. Therefore, we're using devita. And the very last one is Ovo je deveto pismo koje šaljem. Ovo je deveto pismo koje šaljem. This is the ninth letter that I'm sending. Deveto pismo, pismo um, is unknown, so therefore we're using deveto. The very last one is the tenth. Uh, deseti, deseta, deseto. Again, deseti, deseta, deseto. Example. Deseta lekcija nije teška. Again. Deseta lekcija nije teška. The tenth lesson is not difficult. Lekcija in this case is our subject. It is uh, feminine. Therefore, we are, we are using deseta. Uh, second example, ovo je deseti stan u kojem živimo. This is the tenth apartment in which uh, we live. Um, deseti stan, uh, we are using uh, deseti because stan is masculine. And the very last one is to je deseto pitanje koje je neodgovoreno. Again, to je deseto pitanje koje je neodgovoreno. That is the tenth unanswered question. Pitanje is our neuter, therefore we are using deseto. Okay, so today we learned about ordinal numbers in Bosnian language. Let's repeat them again together. Um, first, prvi, prva, prvo. Uh, second, drugi, druga, drugo o. Uh, third, treći, treća, treće. Četvrti, četvrta, četvrto. Peti, peta, peto. Šesti, šesta, šesto. Sedmi, sedma, sedmo. Osmi, osma, osmo. Deveti, deveta, deveto. I deseti, deseta, deseto. Remember, please actually keep this in mind that it depends on the gender of your subject or your noun. So if, the, if, the, if the, your subject or your gender uh, of your noun ends on a, that means you will use the a version of, for example, prva. If it's a masculine noun, you will use prvi, uh, drugi, whatever, you're talking, whatever number you're talking about. And if it's your neuter uh, noun, then you will use o at the end. That will be all for today. Uh, thank you for learning how to speak Bosnian with us. And for more awesome videos, don't forget to like us, to subscribe, and to leave your awesome comments below so that we can uh, create more useful and uh, helpful material in the next lessons. Thanks again, and until next time, ciao!